Okay guys, it's me Imad. So today in this video tutorial we will learn about how to use a BCD to 7 segment decoder IC within the Tinkercad. So here as you know that Tinkercad is an online simulator. So first of all we need to go to the Google. And here we will write Tinkercad. And it will lead us to the main website of Tinkercad.com. You need to click on the link. And then we got our dashboard. Here one more thing that if you if you don't have any sort of account then you must uh, provide email okay in order to sign up. So you can create your free account here. And after this has been done you can see this create button this create blue button we need to click on it and here we got a lot of things but we will click on circuits and it will lead us to the main simulation window and here we got our simulation window so we will write here 4511 and we got our 7 segment decoder IC. We can rotate it out. We can press control and addition sign so that it will become a little bit big. Now we will write common, common anode or 7 segment. Okay. We got our 7 segment display here. And we can select it as common cathode. Common cathode. Now we have a lot of pins on this IC that is BCD to 7 segment decoder IC. And now we will take our power supply as well. Okay, so. Let me choose power supply. So this is our power supply. Okay, and this is our power pin. And we need to connect to the positive pin. Okay, now we need to connect the negative side of the power supply with the ground pin of the IC that is CD4511. Now we have two common pins. Okay, and we have to connect these common pins to the, yes, to the ground of the IC. both above and below but okay like this okay this has been done now we have multiple points on this seven segment decoder that is g f common a b c d e and f and this is decimal point connection and now we have to connect our pin A to the A terminal of the 7 segment display. Like this. And what about uh, B? And where it is? Yes, this one is B. So we have connected it out. This is C. Like this. This is D.
and this one is E. This is at F and this is G. So we will connect it like this. We will go and we will connect it to G. And this one to F. Okay, like this. Now this is input 2, input 3, input lamp test, blanking, latch enable, input 4 and input 1. So there are 4 of our inputs on which we will give our BCD data that is binary sort of data and it will be converted to the 7 segment display based data. Now we will go for lamp test and BI and we will connect it to the 5 volt. This is lamp test and this is blanking. Okay, so our blanking and lamp test okay, must be connected with the 5 volt. pin of the supply like this okay now we will connect the latch enable pin latch enable pin to the negative side of the supply like this we can change the sorry we can change the color okay we can go sorry for that wait let me see this one is our latch enable okay we can change the color of these wires we can change it to black okay so where it is ground we will just connect it with the black oh, sorry and this thing now we will take four push switches push buttons So this is my push button. Okay, but uh, because uh, they are not providing lace, so we will go for slide one. Or dip switches. Obviously, dip switches are one of the best option. So these are our dip switches. We, uh, these are just like uh, random switches. So we can use this so we can connect these switches one end to the power supply so we will go for it like this and then this this and then this okay and this one and then we can connect it with the 5 volt of the supply okay now we will take 1k
now we will connect these register now these are our pull down resist resistors uh, pull down resistors are used for to provide a logic a strong logic zero on the inputs of all these ic spins etc okay so we will connect them with the ground pin of the supply so we can go like it connect it like this so it is like this now okay we will connect our input one with our input one with our first pin Okay, and this is our input two. Input two, then okay. Now we can see that it is connected with input three. Now we will go for input two. Okay, so okay, wait, let me minimize it out. and we can use it like this okay this is input 3 so we will connect it like this and what about input 4 we can go and we can connect it like this now whenever our switches are in off condition a strong zero a logic is being provided to this inputs okay but as well as we will make our switches on they can they, they can provide certain uh, strong one or logic one on these pins so now let me start our simulation the side from 5 volt uh, let me see what's the problem so it is power and it is the ground okay so it is common cathode cathode is common so why it is uh, making certain problem let me see let me see the point or we can just connect this negative with these supplies negative okay now we'll run it out again it is saying this this and all this so now okay let me provide certain certain voltages now this is our 2 volt and this is our 2.7 volt now we have zero 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 okay from the switch on input zero it is zero input one it is zero okay and input three it is zero and in on input four it is zero so now we will go okay now we will write uh, zero 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 and one so it is one okay and uh, zero zero one zero it is two okay and zero zero one one it is three and one double zero it is four and one zero one it is five okay one zero one okay well, so one zero one is our five so our triple okay so one wait let me see one double zero it is four okay and one zero one it is five and one one zero it is six and triple one okay it is seven and one triple zero it is eight because we all know that that it is the logic combination that is zero 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 
and 0, 0, 0, 001 is 1, 0, 0, 010 0 is 2, and 0, 0100 0, 0 is 3. And ultimately, we got 1, 0, 0, that is 8. So, in this way, we can use our IC that is CD4511 that is a BCD27 segment decoder within the Tinkercade. So thanks for visiting our channel and don't forget to subscribe.